Station, station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. It was a long road, but NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Terry Burtz knocked out their third and final spacewalk on Sunday. The duo worked to set up a new communication system that will interact with future visiting spacecraft like the ones being designed by SpaceX and Boeing. In 5 hours and 38 minutes, they installed new antennas and retro reflectors, which will help guide the new spacecraft, and then plugged everything in with 400 feet of new cable. Also making an exit from station airlocks this week was the next fleet of CubeSats being shot off into Earth orbit. 16 new CubeSats left the deployer outside the Japanese experiment module, and these small satellites pack big potential tech, ranging from capturing new pictures of Earth to using microwave scanners to create 3D images of hurricanes, to even finding new methods for returning science samples back to Earth from space. This week, we have a question from Mrs. Shane's first grade class at Coker Highlands Elementary. They want to know how astronauts digest their food in space, and if it's different from on Earth. Well, digestion might actually be one of the very few things that doesn't change in microgravity. Almost every bodily system undergoes some change while in space, whether it's eyesight, the cardiovascular system, or muscles and bones. The way we taste food even changes in space, but the way we digest it doesn't, working pretty much exactly the same way it does here on Earth. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.